What is up everybody, Emerald Void here, bringing you another Tachiyomi video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about update 0.9.2 for Tachiyomi. Stick around. Alright guys, so like I said in the intro, we're going to be talking about the newest Tachiyomi update, uh, 0.9.2. Uh, but when you look at the the notes, the patch notes for it, which I'll have a link to it, which uh, I'm going to go over everything here in a minute. But um, Tachiomi 0.9.2 says that it's mostly minor fixes that are on top of uh, 0.9 and 0.9.1. So let's check out 0.9.0 and see what features are in 0.9.0. Um this is a huge release. Big thanks to all the contributors, translators, support staff, website ma maintainers, bug reporters, and all of the other community members. So the major changes is they've dropped support for Android 4X. So you now have to... It requires Android 5 Plus. App selection... Uh, app section navigation moved from sidebar to bottom navigation bar for quicker access and easier for Android 10 Plus gesture users. That's pretty cool. Um, users must have web view installed slash enabled on their device to use the app required for fetching content. So we may have to change some settings here in a minute. Uh, they've moved some features there. Here's some, they've added a bunch of new features, uh, splash screen, automatic system, dark theme for Androids nine plus, um, pure white light theme. They've done stuff with the library. They've done stuff for the reader. They've done stuff for the tracking. Um, they've added uh, the extensions. Extensions no longer available uh, from the official extensions repo are marked as obsolete. So I'm guessing that means they're not gonna. They're no longer gonna be supported. Filter extensions by languages and extension update notifications. Which that right there is super cool. That they're actually gonna notify you when there are updates to your extensions because now you don't have to keep checking your extensions every time you log into Tachiomi. It's just automatically going to send you an update notification. Um, and then it just keeps going on and on and on. Like This is a pretty in-depth um, pretty in-depth patch notes. I'll have a link in the description to this to all three of the um, the patch notes. Um, so let's check out, uh, 9.1 and see. So they fixed the source tab, not updating after installing an extension, disabled, uh, ProGuard, which was causing issues with some extensions. Um, they didn't really do much with 9.1, but like they said, 9.1 and 9.2 were basically just little extras that didn't quite make it into 9.0 when it was released. So this is... There's three new things. They fix some bugs and they enhance some stuff. So, in Tachiomi, you click your three bars here. Let's go check out the new version of Tachiomi. Go to your settings. Go to about. And then it should say whatever version that you have. Go ahead and click that. And it's going to look for updates. And it's going to say, hey, here's this, uh, you know, this big update. So we're going to go ahead and click download, and it should be downloading. Okay, so that was a neat little uh, splash screen that popped up. And then it's got the change log here, which is going to give you all of the changes from all the different versions. So this is the new Tachiomi. This is what it looks like now, and I am most definitely impressed. Um, to be honest. So here's the library. You've got downloaded, unread, completed. So let's check out unread. Which I don't really have anything in my library. So, you know. Updates. There's a giant updates button. Here's everything that's been updated. Which again, I don't have that much. Uh, history. Everything that you've looked up, I guess. Your browse, which is for your extensions. And then your more option, um, which is your downloaded only filters all manga in your library. 
download queue, source migration, settings, about, and help. So let's go check out some of the settings. Let's um, let's go to general. Start screen. That's pretty much the same. Um, all of the app theme. We're gonna change it back to dark because I like the dark theme. Uh, dark theme variant. Let's do. What is the dark blue? What's the AMOLED black? I don't like that. Let's do the dark blue. I like the dark blue. Um, library, which is all your settings for your library. Um, default category, okay. Um, the reader pretty much is the same. Um, background white, double tap animation speed, full screen, show page number, Skip chapters marked as red. Skip filtered chapters. This all seems to be... Um, this all seems to be relatively the same, honestly. It doesn't seem like they've really changed that much. Um, looks like they've added a few new services in the tracking. Um, browsing looks about the same. Advanced looks about the same. So yeah, it pretty much looks looks the same. Um, yeah, it looks like that's pretty much all that's changed. But I'm really liking this new out, this new looking uh, Tachiomi. But I just kind of wanted to make this little quick video to to show you guys that Tachiomi has got this new this new update. Uh, let's go browse for a manga real quick. Let's just go let's just go to manga C. Let's check out the browse function. See how much this has changed when you browse for a manga. Um, so I've noticed at the top you can sort it by that or by that so uh, that's basically the view mode so if you don't want to view it in those little squares you can view the circles um you can actually open manga c up and open the actual web page which is cool and then there is your search function uh then your filter function looks roughly the same uh looks a little bit more condensed i actually kind of like Everything being where it's at, especially if you're using, um, you know, the new version that I think it's what is Android 10 um, or 9 plus whatever the newest version for Android is on like the Note 9s and stuff uh, and the newer smartphones. I definitely can see the the one UI influence here with everything kind of being down by the thumb, which I think is super cool, especially on the main page here, having all of your main um icons being right there at your thumb uh and then they've moved the extensions now so instead of having to go to options you can just go to browse and you can go to extensions and you can install your extensions from here i'll have links to everything down in the description uh below definitely check out the um scroll through here scroll through the app and check extensions but also, don't uh, don't forget to check out the uh, the extensions um, list on the official page for Tachiomi. Um, Nine point one is the one I'm looking for. So right here, oh, nine point is the one I'm looking for. Sorry. So. Down here it says something about the official extensions repo, and I guess that stands for repository. Um, this should be all of the uh, yes. This repository contains the available extension catalogs for the Tachiomi app. Extension sources can be downloaded, installed, and uninstalled via the main Tachiomi app. They are installed and uninstalled like regular apps in .apk format. So yeah, you can um, you can get your extensions from here if you don't want to download them through 
the Tachiomi app, but I'm not really sure why you wouldn't want to do that. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Hopefully you guys learned something from it. There was a lot to go over as far as updates and stuff, but I kind of just wanted to get the, uh, get the video out that those of you that have been watching my Tachiomi videos, that there is, you know, 9.2 is out and it, 0.9.2, I should say, and it looks phenomenal. I really like this new clean layout, and I can't wait to see what else they come up with next, what the next updates are. But uh, I'm Emerald Void. If you liked the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought. And uh, before I go, I've just got one question for you. Are you feeling nostalgic yet?